Friday. Dr. James Kaufman is a firm believer that not only can creativity be learned, it can even be measured. What I'd like to do is to find out where you are right now with your creativity. And I'm going to give you a little test. What I'd like you to do is to think of a different thing for each triangle that you might do with it. You can fold it, you can rip it, you can do whatever you want. Okay, let's go. All right. That's one. I'm gonna make some mini triangles. These tests may seem a bit odd, but they actually assess divergent thinking, your ability to find many solutions. And use this triangle as a stem. And divergent thinking is the single most important component of creativity. Igloo. Throwing star. That's a house with a blue door. Johnny, happy face. A fine job, Todd. Are you ready for another test? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. What if people could not wear clothing? We would be more in touch with nature. Um, animals uh, in the wild would stay in the wild because they'd be afraid to come out and see what they see. Uh, the weight loss industry would boom. Um, visiting old age homes would be awkward. Um, shaving cream would be huge. Um, tanning, we would all, oh, geez, we need a lot of sunscreen actually. You're done, Todd. That's yeah. good. I'm gonna give you three types of techniques to use. For the first technique, I want you to do a different divergent thinking exercise every day. So keep trying the types of exercises that we've been doing together. Alternate uses, shapes, what if. And doing that over and over again, it will eventually result in me naturally thinking more divergent or more creatively. It will increase your divergent thinking. It will not make you a better painter, but it will improve how you approach these everyday problems to solve. And one way it does that is by helping to overcome functional fixedness. And it helps you to change this type of a mindset. Changing mindsets, that makes sense. All right, what next? The second thing is every day, try a food that you've never tried before in your life. I want you to find a new way home or a new way to work or a new way to the park. These are little things. If it's, uh, let's say, jujitsu, try a new move, learn a new move. Now you're talking. People who are open to experience are more creative.